Hi guys, welcome to this quick video about the question if such USB-C to C cable with built-in power meter and display are really working. I mean, it's really tempting to buy such a thing. They are also pretty cheap. I mean, uh, it's not much more expensive to buy USB-C to USB-C uh, with this display than without. So why not to buy and instead of buying maybe such an expensive USB meter then you have both in one so why not so I'm going to test here if these things are really working as far as I know they have built in same chip or same electronics inside so it doesn't matter which one you are buying at least in not in 2021 it's pretty much the same anyway they just built around a, a little bit different cables but inside it's the same maybe if you buy it in a couple of years maybe it will be better so how good how accurate are these cables really here we have the usms as far as i know it's not available anymore but uh, it looks like it's a good one at least uh, when we touch and feel it's a really thick braided cable it has this plug with the display and so we are turning on the source we plug it in here and we plug it in into the tester I guess it shouldn't matter if we have the display here or here but here it's a little bit easier to show to you so we are starting with a simple test we have 5 volts or a little bit more uh, just standard USB power we go into load module and we are using one amp which should produce at about 5 watts and we start here and we can see we have the 5 watts and also uh, from the cable it says 5 watts and also here maybe you can see that 5 watts so everything is good we stop the thing and now let's do 2 amps which is a really high value, I mean not super high, but I would say decent value which you have when you charge your phone or so. And now we can see we have 9.9 .9 watts here, and uh, which is basically 10 watts. And we also have the 10 watts here from the cable and also 10 watts here so i would say as long as we have just low power i mean low power normal power everyday usage power which you use normally to charge your phone unless you have super high power phone then there's absolutely no problem no doubt uh, there's no reason why not to use that but how is it when we are using higher power higher voltage so I've increased the voltage to uh, close to 20 volts, basically 20 volts. And I'm putting a load of 2 amps. That means then around 40 watts. So let's start this here. Let's see what we get. Yeah, this is pretty close to 40 watts. Uh, 39 here, 39 here. What do we have here? 42. So it looks like when we increase the power, it shows a little bit more. So what happens when we go even a little bit higher? So I've set it to 4 amps, 20 volts means 80 watts. I start this again. Let's see. Yeah, pretty close to 80 watts. Here it's saying yeah, 81, yeah, 79, 81. So probably around 80. Here it's saying 77. So there's definitely a little bit of a loss now here through the cable. And here it's saying 85, 77, 85. So the cable is now a little bit exaggerating. I have to stop this thing here. It needs to cool down a little bit because this was really crazy amount of power. 80 watts and I've already tried 100 watts it also worked but of course it was just showing 100 watts the maximum so everything uh, above about 85 watts or so it will show 100 watts a little bit more so if you're using low power it's no problem maybe 5 watts 10 watts or so maybe even 20 watts but if you go to higher power let's say 40 watts 80 watts or even 100 watts it will show too much that means it's definitely not a scientific usb meter if you want to have something really accurate something really good you would have to buy something like that but i still think it's pretty cool i mean for the price or for the 
uh, extra price which we pay here which is really low we can get already a, a decent the display decent usb meter so if you're good with that and don't need a scientific uh, reading on that just uh, maybe have some idea how much power it's transferring this uh, could be really nice thing so why not and so i'll put down the link of some of these cables down into the description so you can uh, buy something for you if you like it but if you want to go with this one of course i can highly recommend it it's much more accurate it has much more capabilities i mean it's not cable it's a usb meter and i'll put down also the link to this one into the description but it's of course much more expensive but anyway i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel thanks for watching see you next time